everybody this is Jeff with the Embroidery Nerd and today we are here in Chroma Inspire and we're gonna talk about name drops so I recently was approached by somebody who wanted me to do a hundred different last names on a hundred different napkins for their wedding and I'm gonna show you guys how I set up the file for that so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and we're gonna grab our text tool and I have pre-picked manila font you can use any font that you really want to and we'll go ahead and we'll start putting in some names like Grant and we'll hit apply and we'll let that put down uh, let's go with another name here we'll start another text box and we'll say Peter and hit apply and we'll do another text box let's go with George I want to take that return out before I hit apply. Let's do a couple more names here so that we have a good uh, script to go from. We'll do Laura and we'll hit apply. And let's do another name. We'll start another text box and we will do Ava. And we will hit apply. So right now, all of our texts are kind of all over the place and we need to have them organized the other issue here is that they are all the same color so if we went to sew this out right now this is what would happen it would go on the machine and we would hit go and it's gonna sew out the first name and it's gonna go straight to the next name and straight to the next name and straight to the next name and finally to the last name well we need to have these in a similar placement uh, for every one of our names so what I did is I went in and I zeroed out the position on every one of them. So we'll do that here. We'll zero that one out. So I'm selecting the text. I'm coming over to this tab and I'm putting zero and I'm hitting enter. And by hitting enter, I don't have to hit the apply button. And so that's kind of nice sometimes. It doesn't work for everything, but it works for zeroing out the text. And we'll go with the last name here. So when I originally did this, um, I went through and I picked a text that I liked and I digitized one name. And I went and I looked at it, I sewed it out, I got the settings the way that I wanted them, and then after I had gotten the settings the way that I wanted them I went and I started building my file I can tell you the settings that I used on them I went with a underlay let's go to the underlay here of I did a contour underlay I'm not gonna change it for all of them but I'm gonna change it for one so you guys know the settings I did a contour underlay I did it uh, parallel as well I hit apply for that and I'm gonna look at the density which I had at actually I had it at a 0.35 because I was using 60 weight thread so my thread was a little bit finer so I went with a little bit tighter of a density now let's look at our pull compensation which I have here at a 0.3 and I used a 0.2 and those were the settings that I used on all of the text that I did for this order now the way I got the machine to stop at every name is I went in and I alternated my colors so right now our first word is blue we'll take our next color our next word and we're gonna change it to red and our the one after that is blue again we'll do another one in red and I just you just need to alter the colors um, one after the other so that throws in color changes in your machine and I in my machine I have a frame out button so when I input my color sequence I can put in the needle and I can put a frame out on there um, if you don't want to do a frame out you can change it to whatever setting that stops your machine at every uh, color change so that's what I did now these are all zeroed out which means that they are all lined up um, based off of the center of the file now if I on mine I had some that were two lines I had some that were three lines so what I did is I aligned everything to the bottom edge and that's actually what I'm gonna do here so now I would take this over to my machine I'd send the file over 
and I would set up my design and I set it up to where all the hoops um, I was all the napkins I was hooping them the same with the registration marks on the hoop and I lined up the design off of the center um, of my of my hoop and so when I would finish a, a wedding napkin I'd pull that hoop off I'd stick the next one in and I'd hit start while that one was sewing I'd rehoop the next napkin and so we'll go ahead and watch this sew out here we'll hit the slow redraw and it'll sew out the first name and then you're gonna stop your machine at that color change you'll stop it and you'll change the hoops out and then you'll hit go and it'll sew out the next name and after the next name is done you'll stop the machine with a frame out or you'll have it stopped and you'll do the next name and you'll continue on from there now my requirements were a little bit different and I'll go over some of them to kind of give you guys an idea so I had a window that I needed to have these all sew out in and my window let's change our um, general options let's change it to inches so that we can see kind of a metric based off of this so my window was three inches so if we do three inches we'd come over here to an inch and a half we can click there and bring a guideline over to an inch and a half let's pull that over again at negative inch and a half right there let's click on the ruler on the side and drag over to an inch and a half on the right side and this is how we can get some lines that we can use as reference points for our designs now it was we'll go ahead and say that it was by two inches so if I want to bring down another reference line I'm gonna come up to bring a line down I need to come up here I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag down and I'm gonna to go to the one inch line and I will do the same thing I'll come up here and I'll click and I'll drag down and I'll come down to the one inch line and now I have a box that's two inches tall by three inches wide yep doing math in my head wheels are turning gerbils are happy so now we have our box um, that I needed to keep them in and these are this box is really really handy to give you an idea of your sewing area that you're gonna have on your um, your design so if somebody gives you a specific I need this to fit inside this window this kind of gives you that way to do a name drop where you can set up the requirements of your window and the advantage to that is is we'll go ahead and select one of these longer names which is George now if George was a little bit larger and it went outside of our window range we could scale down just that one name to fit inside the window so our all our stitches we can set our names at the same height or we can change it based on the width of the name so that we can still fit inside the window that we're trying to hit and this is how I set up my napkins that I had to do I used first names in this video I did last names in um, on my actual project and I just went through and I type in I typed in a hundred names and set them as alternating colors sent it to my machine and sewed them out from there I hope this kind of gives you an idea of what you need to do to do a name drop and I hope that it helps you out. If you guys like our content and our videos, please hit the like button and the sub subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with us, you can go visit us on our Facebook page or you can join our Facebook group. If you have any questions, go ahead and send them down below and thank you guys for watching our videos. You guys have a wonderful day.